preschool kids and families. It's Miss Rebecca. Thank you for joining us. We love teaching you about who God is and what God has done from the Bible. That's why we're making these videos. Every week, we're going to practice our monthly memory verse, hear a story from the Bible, and worship God by singing together. This week, Mr. Brandon is going to be teaching us about how God saved Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Let's practice our monthly memory verse together and remember what's good, true, and beautiful about God. I love the Lord because He has heard my voice and my pleas for mercy. I love the Lord because He has heard my voice and my pleas for mercy. Hey kids, are you ready for our lesson? Great, our story today comes from the Bible. The Bible is God's true word. The Bible is from God and it's about God. We have been learning about how God helped the Israelites, his special chosen people while they were living in exile because they had disobeyed God over and over by worshiping idols. God let the Israelites get taken away by a nation who was stronger than them as punishment for their sins. Instead of living in the promised land, they had to live in a faraway place with people who didn't love or trust God, people who hated them. That's what we learned last week. God used a queen named Esther to save the Israelites from Haman, a man who hated the Israelites and wanted to hurt them. Even when God's people sin, God is still good because he loves them. Today, we're gonna to talk about another story from the Bible about three Israelite men who would not worship idols, even though the king in their land was telling them to do it because, because they knew that God is good. They knew only God is worthy of all of our worship. He's the one true God who can always be trusted. The king in that land was a king named Nebuchadnezzar. On the count of three, let's all say Nebuchadnezzar. Ready? One, two, three. Nebuchadnezzar. King Nebuchadnezzar didn't love God and he didn't believe that God was good. He made a huge golden statue for people to worship as an idol. And Nebuchadnezzar wanted all the people to love and to trust that idol more. Nebuchadnezzar told the people that every time an instrument was to play, the people were supposed to fall on their knees and to worship the golden idol. So when the people heard the instruments play, they would get on their knees and worship the idol. This was not okay. King Nebuchadnezzar even made a rule that said if anyone does not bow down and to worship his idol, then that person will be thrown into the furnace of fire. A furnace is a place where fire gets very, very hot and big. Does that sound like a good thing? No, no way. In that land, there were three Israelite men who loved and worshiped God. Their names were Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. On the count of three, let's all say Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Ready? One, two, three. 
Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These three men knew that God alone should be the one who is loved and trusted most. They knew that worshiping the idol that the king had made was a sin. So when the instruments played, they did not bow down to worship the golden idol. Some people saw that they, what they did and they told King Nebuchadnezzar. They told him that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were not bowing down to the idol. This made King Nebuchadnezzar very, very angry at them. And he came to them right away. He asked them, why would you not bow down to the golden idol I told you to worship? They told them that only God should be worshiped. God is the one true God and God alone is good. They would not even worship an idol, even if it meant they'd be thrown into a fiery furnace. So let's read what they said to the king from Daniel chapter three, verses 17 through 18. It says this, if this be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of your hand, O king. But if not, be it known to you, O king, that we will not serve your gods, nor worship the golden image that you have set up. The king was furious about this. He ordered the furnace be made hotter, and he took the three men and he threw them into the furnace. But when the king looked into the furnace, he didn't see three people in there. He saw four, and none of them were burning. They were walking around in the furnace. Not even the clothes were on fire. Who do you think that the fourth person in the fire was? It was God. God was with the men in the fire, and the king was amazed. He called them to come out of the furnace right away. God saved them from the fire, and everyone, that, that everyone knew that only the true God was able to save them like that. God is good, better than anything and anyone. God gave Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego healthy hearts that loved and trusted him, and they would not bow down even to an idol, even if it meant their death. They knew that God is good, and that God was going to be good to them when he saved them. This would not be the last time that God saved his people. Years later, God would send another person to come and to save people from the sin in their heart. Remember, you and I are all born with sin, and this makes us separated from God. But because God sent his son, Jesus, who lived a perfect life and died on the cross for the punishment for our sin, he's able to bring us back to him, to give us new and healthy hearts so that we might live with God forever. God is good to save his people from sin. And God is so good to send us Jesus. So on the count of three, let's all whisper, God is good. Ready? One, two, three. God is good. Okay, this time, won't you put your hands out like this and let's say God is good on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. God is good. Now, this last time, won't you put your hands in the air? We're gonna say as loud as we can that God is good, but just make sure no one's napping. So ask mom and dad if this is okay. You guys ready? Here we go. One, two, three. God is good. So students, as we close, before we get to worship together, we are going to pray and thank God for being so good. God, we thank you for your goodness to us. We thank you for sending Jesus to save us from our sick hearts. And that is in Jesus, by your Holy Spirit, that we can have new and healthy hearts and be with you forever. Amen. always been G-O-O-D will forever be G-O-O-D to you and me God is good always good God is always good God is good forever Our God.
God is G-O-O-D He has always been G-O-O-D Will forever be G-O-O-D To you and me G-O-D G-O-O-D Is our G-O-D G-O-O-D Is our G-O-D God is good joining us. For more information and additional resources for both kids and parents, check out our TVC Kids site located on the homepage of thevillagechurch.net.